It's been about 20 minutes, so I think we are ready to pull these out of that detergent bath. I want you to take a look at the water here. So there is some dye that came out in the water. Now, if if I had not done the over dye on that scarf, this water probably wouldn't have very much dye residue in it, but because each of these three scarves was over dyed at least once. Um, I, th I think actually probably two or three times on each of these. So that's a lot of super saturation of color. So that's why there's a, still some bleed even after the heat transfer process that we did. So that's why we go through this step to get the last of that dye residue off of there. So I am going to drain this water out and then we're going to rinse the detergent out and then we're going to use our last step here of the color fixing process is to use the dye fixative and that's just to play it safe. So. This is from Dharma Trading Company, the same company where I get pretty much all of my supplies from for the most part. And so again, I just use a really tiny amount in the sink here. Um, I'm just going to use a itty bitty cap full and I'm going to do that with cold water this time. And then we'll leave it setting for 15 minutes. So. I will, I just wanted to explain that to you before I run the water so you can actually hear me. to turn the cold water on and I'm shaking these out again and we are going to add the dye fixative bath. Now we'll let that sit for 15 minutes. I'll be right back. I want you to come look at the water this time. This time the water is clear because we got rid of all those dye particles in the last bath. And so now it is coming through clean. We've used the fixative. And so that's basically kind of like the final seal on the color there. So I am going to drain the water out. And I'm just going to rinse these.
walk over to the Yankee clothes drying rack and hang these out to dry. I'm going to hang these here on the rack and we're just going to let these air dry. And it'll probably take only a couple of hours. It's a pretty dry environment here so the water gets sucked out of things pretty quickly. So once these are dry, I'll come back and we will press them and then you can see the final product. So I'm just finishing up the ironing and we have the finished scarf. You can see that the excess red dye has washed out of it and so now it's just a glorious blend of kind of intense pastel shades almost like Monet's garden sort of colors so I'm very pleased so it will make somebody a beautiful scarf so thank you everybody for joining me on the making of this scarf and in the upcoming series, I will show you next uh, an alternate way of doing the Nui stitches when we work on that headscarf. Um, in, in the next series, we'll walk through several different styles of making different types of designs. So you'll get sort of a good grounding on different methods of doing things if you want to try this yourself at home. Thank you.